this is Princess Snail and welcome back to another life gen video. So today we are back with Sulkit and he is finally going to become an apprentice. So we're gonna straight away time skip one moon and you have an important decision to make so we can either be a medicine cat, a warrior, a mediator, or a queen. So of course it is Sol, so we will become a warrior apprentice. Oh my goodness, look at him! <laughs> he is all grown up, well, almost. <laughs> okay, let's see all events, so... Your heart pounds in your chest as you sit beneath the great rock. The murmurs of the gathered clan rise around you, vibrating it through your paws. Pale Star, a figure of strength and grace, stands tall on the rock, their gaze penetrating the crowd until it lands on you. You feel the weight of the stare, not menacing, but filled with expectations. As your name is called, the assembled cats fall silent. Respect, recognition, responsibility all blend into a heady mix as you step forward. Your young eyes meet those of your mentor, Puddle Pelt. The brief touch of their nose to your forehead marks the change of your status and you are now named Solpaw. That's so exciting! Okay, let's also see if anything else has been happening. Uh, let's, yeah, let's see our relationships. Solkit and Nettle Bounce. Solkit saw Nettle Bounce being considerate. Okay, let's talk to Nettle Bounce maybe. StarClan, I just can't sleep. My mind's telling me to keep working. Ever feel this way, Solpaw? I think he probably would feel that way quite often, considering he um, very much wants to be a warrior. Oh, there we go. I forgot that there was a war going on. Well, I'm glad that that might be ending soon. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So, oh, now he is an apprentice like Ivy Paul. Let's talk to Ivy Paul. Talk to this cat. Not now. Well, that wasn't nice. He'd probably insult her. He, he's that type. Keep yelling. Maybe one day he'll actually sound intimidating. I don't know. If, have they fallen out, maybe? Mm. That could be an issue. Also, he's changed, I think, his um, like personality. It's changed. He is now righteous, dozes easily, and avid play fighter. <laughs> That makes sense. Okay, let's also talk to his parents who... I don't remember who they are. Um, it is uh, Donny Moth and Fringe Puddle. Let's talk to them. Uh, oh, I forgot to filter by age. There we go. Uh, Donny Moth. Talk. Donny Moth anxiously scans the sky for hawks. Fur bristling. You're pretty sure that, that they're trying to talk to them in this... You're pretty sure that trying to talk to them in this state would give them a heart attack, or worse. Okay, he, he probably wouldn't then. Uh, then let's look to Fringe Puddle. You know, I wish there was a new type of patrol. I know there's hunting, border, herb gathering, but wouldn't it be cool if we were able to explore the area outside of the clan territories? Like, I'd be so down to just wander. What if there was territory that had so much more prey or super cool healing herbs? I guess we won't know. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna talk to the kits, however, a bunch of them should be becoming apprentices soon as well, so we can continue hanging out with our friends maybe some other time, but today I think we need to do all this stuff. So who is our mentor? Pedal Pelt, so let's get these two to go on a training patrol. While out training together, Solpaw starts an argument of Puddle Pelt about the technique they're working on. Um, okay. Sol would probably proceed, he'd continue arguing probably. <laughs> With a deep sigh, Puddle Pelt holds back their temper and instead sits down to explain their reasoning to the young cat. They can see why Solpaw thinks differently, but practicing this way will help Solpaw build muscle better than taking the cheap way out. Solpaw also sighs, apologizing for their outbursts. Poor Solpaw, he just wanted to steal food from foxes. He's done nothing wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, now I'm gonna do the rest of the patrols. You spot a lone crow sitting on a branch. It screeches at you irritatingly. You could proceed. 
You successfully chased the crow away, demonstrating your courage and determination. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that! Soulpool saved Grey Kit from... and he fell into a river. But I wonder <laughs> if you know much about um, Soul's backstory. He did, in fact, endanger some kits and then pretend to save them. I wonder if that's what he was doing there. I wonder if he, like, took Grey Kit to a river with the intent of Grey Kit falling in the river so that he could save him and maybe become a warrior sooner. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, let's talk to Grey Kit since we did help. Can you take me out onto the territory, please, please, please? I promise it'll only be for a quick look. Oh my goodness. Maybe, maybe that is actually what happened. <laughs> since Grey, since Grey Kit is asking Sol to take them out into the territory, maybe Sol did, and then that happened. And uh, bar. Barrage Kit and Conifer Kit have become um, apprentices, which is great. Oh, buffs and deaths. We've got four new kits. Um, let's see, relationships. Soulport is able to work together with Puddle Pout. Oh, that's good that they're getting along with their mentor. We should talk to them a bit more. Puddle Pout glowers off into the distance, seemingly deep in thought. Clearly, they don't want to chat right now, and you decide to leave it alone. Hmm. Is hissing in frustration. Clearly, they're in a bad mood. Okay. Soul poor nettle bounce and store my feet. I had a nice talk while eating. Okay. Let's talk to them also. Nettle bounce. Our soul poor Pelsa has been wanting to see you about your performance. Is it good or bad? Sorry, I couldn't tell you. You'll have to go see for yourself. Oh, okay. We should definitely go talk to Pale Star then. Um, where are they? Oh, there they are. I okay, let's talk to Pale Star. Uh, it's okay. Maybe Pale Star isn't in the um, greatest mood to discuss our performance. We can discuss it later. <laughs> okay, uh, let's look to Storm Ivy. Hey, Soulpool, get a load of this one. What happens when a tree falls into the mud? It leaves an impression. <laughs> hey, where are you going? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Puddle Pot appreciates Soulpool telling them that they had a feather stuck to their face. So they talk to Puddle Pot again. That's nice. And Rivershock spends some time with Sol. That is a very unfortunate name. That just sounds like it's like a, a, a bad omen. Uh, okay. But anyway, Rivershock <laughs> spends some time with Sol. And they both end up understanding each other a bit better. Oh, that's great. Let's talk to them. A Sol Pearl has been wanting to see you about your performance. I know they've been wanting to see us about our performance. But, but they're ill right now. Maybe we'll talk to... Um, to Pale Star tomorrow? I don't know if they'll feel better. Ah, oh, the war has ended. That's good. Oh, look at them. Okay, let's talk to, I think, Conifer Paul. I think we were quite close to them. Let's actually see our relationships with everyone. Um, so, I'm going to look for the cats that they are quite close in age to. Not like the adult cats who they get along with. But, you know. Um, they don't like one of their parents that much. That's strange. Alright. Oh, okay, so they don't... Yeah, I think they might have fallen out with Ivy Paul because their platonic like has just gone all the way down. Well, with Conifer Paul, it's quite high, so I think we should definitely hang out with Conifer Paul. What about um, Barrage Paul? Ugh, not that close of them either. Okay. That's very interesting. I wonder what happened because they were like getting along so well when they were little. Maybe it's just because like they kind of got along well because they were the only two cat like young cats there. But now that there's other ones, they've kind of like realized they don't like each other that much. Okay, well let's talk to Connor for Paul either way. Mm, Tansy, Cheville, Starkling, these hubs are getting hard to memorize. I don't know how my mentor does it all. No way am I passing my assessment tomorrow. Oh, you medicine cat! That makes sense. Conifer Paul was always quite, like, shy and quite nervous, wasn't he? So that makes a lot of sense that he would be a medicine cat instead of a warrior. I talked to Ivy Paul as well. Maybe she'll like us more today. Hmm? What's that? You want to know if we can train together? <sighs> I work best alone, but thank you for asking. I don't know how to feel. Okay, well let's talk to Barrage Paul since they also became um, a apprentice today. The crisp air that Leaf Paul is putting me in the mood for revolution. Puddle Pearl and Ivy Paul are smart. What do you think of convincing them to uh, help us overthrow Pale Star? Ha, of course I'm kidding, Sol Paul. Leaf Paul is the season of relaxing. <laughs> we save revolutions for Leaf Bear. Okay. 
All right, well, let's do our patrols. But first, actually, yeah, we need to do our patrol with salt pool, because that's pretty important. Uh, let's go on a hunting patrol. Oh, actually, a border patrol would make more sense, because salt pool needs to learn the border. There we go. So let's go on a border patrol. As your patrol is checking the borderlines, they notice that a current clan sent has strayed into their territory. Current clan is their ally, but this is a bit suspicious. Hmm. Dare I say, Solpool would antagonize? They might. Hmm. Yep, let's go antagonize. How dare they trespass? Your patrol bounds after the scent, hoping to find the source of it, eventually finding that it leads to the Eclipse Clan camp. Inside they find the current clan medicine cat conversing with your own medicine cat. The thought of patrol offers, so hastily jumping to conclusions. The other medicine cat was only looking to borrow some herbs. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, it's okay. They, they tried their best. You found a new accessory. Multibow. What's that? Let's see. Um, uh, how do I see? Oh, I forgot. Okay, here it is. Um, no, it isn't. I forgot how to see accessories. I'll change accessories, that's all. Oh, a cute pink bow. That's adorable. That's so cute. Sol's gonna wear that. That's a very cute bow. <laughs> we might change it later on, but for now I want him to wear the bow. That looks really cute. <laughs> oh, look at that! He caught a mouse! That's so good. And you make a minor mistake during training. You miss your mentor corrects you. The criticism is hard to take. Mmm, okay. Oh, look at that. Another cat became an apprentice. Solpool tells Fallen Fleck to count on them in a different, difficult situation. Okay, let's talk to Fallen Fleck. Fallen Fleck is talking in their sleep. Mm, love, stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love you too, Fringe Puddle. Wait. Fringe Puddle? Isn't that one of our parents? Yes, it is. Okay. I do know that our parents did um, stop being mates, unfortunately. But that's, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I wonder how Sol would feel about that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, actually, I didn't see the new kits, did I? Oh, look at them. So many Scorch kits. That's so cute. Forest kit with a worm. Adorable. They're so silly. Well, let's talk to Pale Star since they seem to be feeling better and we need to talk to them about how our training's been going, so let's go and do that. You overhear Pale Star and Sandy Dawn very seriously discussing some diplomatic affairs with Crest Clan. Clearly they're too busy with important matters to chat with you right now. Oh, Soul Paul really has to wait for this, doesn't he? <laughs> okay, let's talk to our mentor who is now a senior. Okay. It's freezing outside, but Puddle Pot doesn't seem to care. They just sit in the snow without so much as a shiver to interrupt their brooding. Fair enough. <laughs> What's Solpo actually been up to? Is resting in the sun after a long day of training. Oh, okay, so we're definitely going to do some training today. Let's talk to all the apprentices. Ivy Paul, are you going to be nice to us today? Guess he's going to absolutely ace their warrior assessment. I am. I got this in the bag. Well, good for you. <laughs> Let's talk to Brash Paul. Hey, it's snowing. Pretty neat, huh? What makes it snow? That's easy. When it gets cold and the rain freezes to ice in the sky, then uh, Star Clan, uh, our warrior ancestors, they. I pretend I didn't say anything. I'm not the best with the spinky stuff, you know? <laughs> what about Conifer Paul? Oh, good evening, Soulful. It's very nice to see you. Have you been remembering to take care of yourself? <laughs> I know, I know, I worry too much, but I just want to make sure you're right. The season's been quite. uh. interesting. Well, I'll be off then. If you need anything, you can always let me know. Oh, What about Bill Opal? Whenever you're feeling overwhelmed, find me. We can sit under the stars and watch Silver Pelt. I always find it helps. It's calming, knowing all of our ancestors are watching over us. That's very sweet. Okay, so Sol is now going to go on his first hunting patrol. Solpul catches scent of a mouse nearby. Puddlepot congratulates congratulates them and tries to prepare Solpul for the stalk as best as they can. 
If Solpor can reach this mouse, this is the season where it will be most valuable for the clan. Ooh, okay. Sol will definitely proceed. Solpor pounces on the mouse. With a squeak of surprise, they both from both prey and apprentice, they look up holding their fresh kill, meeting Puddle Pelt's eyes with a purr. Oh, that's great. Good job. <laughs> An apprentice you're close to accidentally trots over you as they leave the apprentice then. They're visibly embarrassed. Let's proceed. You react with surprise, which makes them e feel even more embarrassed. You try to laugh it off, but the atmosphere remains awkward. I think I know exactly who would have done that on accident. It was probably Connor for Paul. <laughs> he is very awkward, isn't he? <laughs> even though I would love to know what Pale Star has been wanting to tell Sol, for now, I'm going to leave the episode here. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and consider subscribing. I post more videos just like this, so if you enjoyed this one, then I'm sure you'll enjoy all my other ones too. As well as that, consider leaving a comment. What do you think happened between Ivy Paw and Soul Paw, considering they do not like each other anymore, like at all? And perhaps mess and perhaps comment your thoughts on Conifer Paw and Soul Paw, considering those two seem to be getting along really well, which I think is very sweet and nice that Soul has at least one friend <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!